Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, intro to this video. This video is a flex test on a wall panel for the wall panel system that I've been putting up. Everybody is really concerned about the brittleness of uh, aircrete and whether these uh, panels would hold up to a snow load if they were to span a um, a roofing system or what have you and so I wanted to do a flex test and I got a treasure trove of and just a bunch of feedback when I put up my roofing system and one of the main concerns was the flexural strength of the panels and whatnot and the other night I just said hey come here babe and I I propped one edge of a panel up on another panel and I said I'm going to stand on it. She's like, what if it breaks? And I'm like, well, if it breaks, it breaks. And I bounced on it, and it didn't. And so she came up and got on it with me, and then our boys came up and got on it. And it just prompted me to want to do a flex test and show you guys how strong you can make aircrete and that it is a viable building system for putting up wall panels and, and roofing systems and whatnot. And so anyway, here you go. Uh, here's the flex test I promised on the panel. I took some brick and I bridged across it with one of my wall panels. And we're going to do that test I promised you. So here goes nothing. Okay, I want to go beside it. One sixty. Get it! Get it! No one have a hole. Okay, this is three twenty. Twenty. Uh, and the bridal lab in it? Yeah. Hey, you can see. Um, four hundred. You walk it. That's how deep it like that. I'm like, I mean, I did walk it. And, yeah. uh, 480. 480. That's all I'm doing, guys. It held up to that. And, that's way more. A snow load would be spread out, so, I'm done. Peace. Hey, guys, if you like what we're doing, be sure and like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications. And uh, if you want to follow along on these aircrete projects I'm doing and get a foam mate for yourself, be sure and check out our Etsy store. That's where you can go to learn everything you need to know about making a foam mate for yourself. Or uh, most people are finding it just more economical and easier if I just build one for them and send it out. So, and I'd be happy to do that. Thanks, guys.